am back with another video. I am posting this video to the Noel Gang page because uh, this is pretty much a story time of what we're going to do on our upcoming um, road trip. It is a road trip on um, the break that we get for Thanksgiving. Right now in the process of writing a few of the places um, that we're visiting, because I always like to write about a month before to try to get um, passes to like um, amusement parks or activities that would otherwise cause my, I have a family of six, I have four kids and three of my kids are big kids. So they, play, they pay um, adult prices. So. I try to write to people um, to do like promotion for them uh, in exchange for free passes. And most of the time it works. And when it doesn't work, I was gonna pay for it anyway. So it's kind of like, it's still a win-win situation. Um, I like to write, so it doesn't bother me. So I'll send a few emails and see if um, I could get anything sponsored. If I can't, uh, it's okay. <laughs> I'll just like pick up an extra shift at the hospital. Um, kids definitely won't uh, miss out on it. We'll just, we'll do something else to get it. So anyways, let me get this video started. Um, I'll have links below um, of which hotels we'll be staying at, uh, which hotels we got for free, um, which is pretty much all of our hotels, y'all. I'm so excited. We got two hotels for absolutely free. And well, actually about four, five, six hotels for absolutely free. Um, the difference between free and free free is the free free ones um it was totally free the other free ones were totally free but i had to use my points which i earned the points from um staying at previous uh places so anyway they basically all were free it's just a, a couple of nights or free free so yeah that's basically how i get free travel i use ig rewards club um this summer my goal you can come in this summer my goal was to basically earn enough points to take my road this is carly guys it was um to earn enough points to uh take my road trip so i had enough points in my um account i had like seventy three thousand points and a free room my husband only had 5,000 points, so he didn't even have enough for a free room. But by the time we finished staying at three, three hotels this summer, he earned 75,000 points. So I used all his points to um, I booked, to book the hotels for our stay um, on this road trip in November, and I still have my 70-something thousand points. So that was like a relief, free hotel rooms. Anyways, um, that's a whole nother video. Uh, I'll make a video um, highlighting how I do that. My most number one asked question is, how do you get to travel so much? You have four kids. I rarely work, I'm, I work weekends. Um, but yeah, we do travel like a lot. And then when I travel, I'm always staying um, at free hotel rooms. I am super excited about this hotel I'll be staying at um, during our November um, road trip. We'll be road tripping through, let's see, we'll start from Louisiana to Memphis, Tennessee. Then we'll be driving to St. Louis, sleeping in St. Louis, exploring kind of that city or whatever. Driving to Minnesota, Minneapolis, Minnesota, to the Mall of America. My kids are gonna be super excited to um, just explore Nick Universe. Also driving to Chicago. Um, our high points in Chicago will be Navy Pier, the Sky Deck, Sears Tower. Uh, we have all of the Obamas, like the house they had there, the apartment, the house Michelle uh, grew up in. Also, Chicago Theater, can't remember what it's called. Um, and, oh, Millennium Park, uh, Cloud Gate, I want to say it's called. When we leave from there, it's like a 30 minute drive to um, Gary, Indiana, so we can see the childhood home of Michael Jackson. After leaving there, we'll be going to um, 
Cleveland, Ohio, but since we're all the way up there, um, I don't know when's the next time we'll be going that way. We will try to get a pic in front of the Michigan sign, okay? So we'll have to probably drive off um, off our path, about a 30 minute off path. So after we get off our, yeah, one of my kids just came, I told you guys that they would be coming in to disturb me. So anyway, we'll take a 30 minute off path, go try to get a pic uh, in front of the Michigan sign, cause like, you know, we'll go to Michigan, but I didn't see anything like intriguing that we wanted to stop by. I thought about going to, um, what what was it in Detroit? Um, Motown. I thought about going to Motown, but then we kind of watched like YouTube videos about Detroit and the time that we'd be arriving in Detroit would be during the nighttime and I didn't hear any good things about it. So I never like to put my family in danger. So we'll um, just settle for taking a peek um, in front of the Michigan sign and um, ultimately sleep near Cleveland, Ohio. It's probably about a 30 minute drive from Cleveland, Ohio. So after we sleep um, near Cleveland, Ohio, um, we'll wake up in the morning, drive to um, Buffalo, New York, and visit Niagara Falls. We did um, visit Niagara Falls before we did uh, last summer and it was awesome. Um, but my sister didn't, so it'll be exciting because she loves, like, she's just like a nature freak, uh, just like me. So we'll be driving to see Niagara Falls. Um, after Niagara Falls, we're going to drive to New Jersey. And I think the name of the city is Sea Caucus, New Jersey. But anyway, we'll be, we'll be sleeping in New Jersey. Um, that, that'll be like a, a long day there because the drive is so, so far. So yeah, our road trips, when we do our road trips, it is like a no rest vacation. It's seriously like a road trip. So sleeping in Sea Caucus, New Jersey, we'll wake up really, really early that morning and um, catch, I guess, like a subway or something. We'll catch public transportation to New York City. And um, the reason we opted to do that is because we have a 12 passenger van, y'all. I had a regular van last time we went to New York. You cannot drive in New York. Like it is just totally not recommended. Like I don't recommend it. And I'm like, I'll drive it everywhere. You can ask anybody, but New York is a hell no for me. So we're gonna um, hopefully leave our van parked um, at the hotel in New Jersey. And if you, you know about the geography, like New Jersey is, seriously, when you're driving, New York City to New Jersey is like super close, probably like Broke Ridge and Sicilia. So, um, yeah, we'll be driving, um, catching transportation to New York City um, and walking to go see the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. Um, We'll visit Central Park again. That's my absolute favorite. We won't have a lot of time in um, New York, but that's I, should, I do want to visit Central Park. I do want to see the parade. And we're going to take the kids um, ice skate at Rockefeller Center. That should be like so fun. We've been to Rockefeller Center before, but we have never been ice skating at Rockefeller Center. So that will be a treat. So um, basically after we finish our little two hour session of ice skating at Rockefeller Center, we will be leaving New York. I know that's like such a short trip to New York. Um, I don't think my sister is very fond of New York. Um, my kids aren't either. I am, I'm fond of everywhere we go. So it, you know, of course I'll be making a trip back to New York, but unfortunately we're only going for um, the parade. Um, and then catching transportation, public transportation back to Sea Caucus, New Jersey, and driving to Maryland, Washington, D.C. Okay. I have this huge smile when I talk about Washington, D.C. Because, guys, I'm staying at, I, I can just tell, like, from the pictures, it's going to be one of the fanciest hotels I've ever stayed at. I'm not fancy. I don't do fancy. But when I see a fancy hotel that I can get two nights for free, I'm doing it. So, I uh, for um, for went staying in New York City. 
to get my two nights the Willard. It's right next or right near um the White House. This hotel is where they house the turkeys that they are giving to um the president to cook for Thanksgiving. Unfortunately, we'll miss that because we're arriving on Thanksgiving Day. But I like I don't care. I'm staying at a hotel. It's so freaking fancy. Like fancy for us means no free breakfast. So there's no free breakfast. Actually, the breakfast is suits expensive. Um, we're probably not gonna eat breakfast there, but I don't even care. Like it is gorgeous. That hotel is so gorgeous. Stay tuned for pictures to come. Okay. So after um, well, we'll stay at that hotel uh for two two nights. One night being like a very late light night, but um, that's Thursday. And then Friday, we'll explore Washington, D.C. Um, we've been to Washington, D.C. before, but this is one of the places my sister loves to visit. And we um, actually, last time we visited, we did get to go to the African American Museum, but we did not get to visit um, the Library of Congress. And she's super excited about uh, visiting there. She's like, uh, research guru and she's in school right now she's a teacher she was a principal she is gonna love it she actually has like a library study in her own um, her house and she's just like a book freak so after i finished telling her like the library of congress in washington dc has all sorts of like old um uh, material that you can research there's like uh stuff like hieroglyphic stuff that people uh, donated to it and just all sorts of original works there. So I'm kind of excited to go to. I don't know if we will wake up one, early one morning and whatever kid is up or kids are up, they'll come with us or we'll just wake up early one morning and um, go ourselves. But like, I don't want to be disturbed there. I don't want to, I don't want them to be asking, uh, when are we leaving? I just want to go like, I'm, yo, like I can't contain my, um, excitement that hotel that library of congress um and a few of the smithsonian museums that we didn't see um we may pass um go back to the uh, african-american uh, museum also um not i did see everything there but uh, we we're kind of rushed to the end and um i also want to visit because there is um kind of like a food court but with um this place that has soul food so we're definitely going to spend money there to get um, food there. So, um, it'll be two days in Washington, D.C. And after that point, we don't we don't have any um, hotels booked after that. So, um, we're kind of going to be winging it after that. So, like, I don't know if we're just going to get on the road, drive home, straight home. Because we have, like, three drivers. Or if we're going to get on the road, maybe drive to Atlanta, go see something there. We don't know. All I know is I have to return the van by Monday afternoon. And when we leave Washington, D.C., it'll be Saturday and it's a 17 hour drive home. So we could technically, we could sleep anywhere between or we can just drive home. Like I'm down for driving home 17 hours. Like I don't care. I can drive the 17 hours by myself. And I figure with three drivers, I can definitely either drive or sleep. It doesn't matter. And like, I like to save money. So sleeping, stopping to sleep at a hotel would be like not, it wouldn't do anything for me. I don't have to sleep in a hotel. Um, I always said that if I didn't have kids, guys, that I would be one living out of a van. Like I, I don't need fancy. I don't need frills. I don't need a bed. Um, I could sleep in the front seat of my car. I've done it plenty of times just waiting for my kids to get out of like soccer practice y'all that was like the best sleep ever i could sit there read a book fall asleep for hours in my car Seriously, guys um i hope i could keep you um in tune with my stories um whenever i do uh my road trip i'll try to do ig stories and um also try to make a youtube video out of it also last time we did a road trip uh, I got bits and pieces on video, but I didn't do any um, YouTube videos, so I'm, I'm trying to be more proactive with that. So, this is going to be the end of my video. Uh, 
Make sure you guys, if you're watching, subscribe and continue watching the No Well Game and just follow us throughout um, our little adventures. I'm trying to get my little YouTube channel popping. It's been here, but I don't have much followers and I like I don't dedicate enough time to it and consistency. It's so easy to post a picture on Instagram and like, boop, I can get my followers up on Instagram. Not so much on YouTube, um, but I really would like to welcome, um, you know, a big enough community on YouTube and, um, you know, pretty much to encourage me yeah, to so make more. Anyways, um, so this is basically like a story time, just um, telling you what states we'll be going uh, through, what activities hopefully we'll do there. And that way you'll be caught up before we even leave for our vacation and you'll be able to um, follow along in my Insta stories to, um, you know, keep up with us and pretty much see if we, we hit all of our high points and um, visit everywhere we want to.